Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to add a button or text over top of an image in Divi. So I know this is something a lot of people ask for. I also have a written tutorial on how to do this. And I'm going to show you how to do this here in this video. I think you're going to enjoy this. And we'll, let's get started. All right, so I feel like this is a little bit of a missing feature. I realize we have the call to action module. But I don't really like that. Um, this little trick is going to show you how to create uh, a button. It's, it's not the actual Divi button, but it's a button over an image. And this is the cool part about this. It's going to always be centered vertically and horizontally. Uh, so I, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you how to do it. Go to the blog post. That's where I'm at right here. It's, it's linked in the video description. Um, that's how all my videos are. I, I kind of have a written tutorial along with the video. A lot of times it, it, it needs to be because of my code snippets. But uh, the blog is really popular, so I'm trying to build up my videos right now to you know go back through and get videos for all my blog posts. So let's copy this class. You'll see this here. It's called PA button over image. You need to copy that. Go here to the image settings, advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, CSS class, paste it there. Okay, so this image has this class assigned to it. All right, save that. Now go back over here. Um, I wanted to mention I, I have some notes here. So I set the image overlay in the design tab and set the icon to transparent and overlay 50%. So go over here to the image. Let's go over to content add a link you have to add a link in here it's going to put a hashtag for now go up to the design tab overlay turn this on all right so set the icon color to transparent and the hover overlay color actually let's set that to like 50 percent okay now go back to the blog post and copy the CSS that's here. Let's copy all of this. Come back, go down here to our page settings, advanced tab, custom CSS. Paste that in there. Up, oh, there's our button. All right, so a couple things to note. I actually made it kind of do something clever on hover. So we set that 50% background color in the module, but as you can see, I have a little bit of a letter spacing. I changed the background and I changed the font color on hover. Now that is all in the CSS. So this here, you wanna change the click here to whatever you want your call to action to say. Here's your line height. Um, you don't, don't mess with much of this, pretty much just color and the text and then the background color. All right, so you know, you could change this to something else. See that? And then down below here, it's on hover. So let's say you wanted, you know, let's just, I always use red as an example, but let's say you wanted that to turn red on hover. See that? All right, so that's how you would make a button. And of course the button link is actually the link that we've set here. You wanna make sure that that's the link there, so there you go. And that's always gonna be centered over that image. Now, the next one would be just text. And it's using the same principle. Uh, let's get back to the tutorial. So it's the same principle that we've done to the other one. Uh, we could go in there and add our background, you know, overlay and things like that. This one, copy this class, PA text over image. Let's go back into this image and add it as a CSS class. Okay, so we also have to add a background gradient. So I'm going to go in here and just add, um, I don't know, I'll just make it dark and um, make part of it a little less opacity and we'll make it radial. So we're not actually seeing it yet, but that's okay. Okay, so back over here in the written tutorial, let's go ahead and grab all the CSS for that. So we'll take that and put it into 
same place just down below here a little bit so there we have our text over the image and you can see that when we applied the css the um, background got darker because we put that gradient in there so you know you would want to customize that you would want to go in here again i should have stayed in there but you would want to customize you know this is right here this is the headline and if you wanted to notice that you know for those advanced users it says before okay so what we're doing is we're adding this text with a before pseudo class and that's just the headline the other text is with an after okay and then right here is the text so that's how you would add text over an image you know you'd want to customize that there so you don't really want to mess around with too much of these other settings uh, if there's something that's off a little bit you can adjust it um, for example let's move the headline up a little so it's you know for who'd say 30 percent or something like that or 35 something like that so it looks a little nicer so you can play around a little bit but certain ones of these you can't change or it'll screw it all up so there you go there we have a button or text over top of an image module in Divi. All right, so I hope that shows you pretty well how to add a button or text over an image in Divi and hope you like that little bonus hover effect as well. If you find this type of video helpful, please let me know in the comments. You can subscribe and feel free because this is the type of tutorial you'll be getting. All right, well, we'll see you in the next video.